to actually cancel my class yesterday because of the blizzard, which was a good thing, I guess. But, oh my gosh. So now I did like an hour delay this morning. Ugh. And then I got all these emails saying that even with the hour delay, people were not going to make class. So it was like, oh, you never know. What is that saying? You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Maybe I should have just had postponed it to Monday completely. But I didn't. Yeah, so the what would happen would be, and that's a good example, like I would know. So it is how cold out, Jay? Nine okay. degrees. It is nine degrees, but the, I think the wind chill factor makes it feel so much colder. Yeah, it's got to be so close to 20 colder. below. Absolutely. And we, we are actually going to the Apple Store, but while we're in the Apple Store, I might have to do a detour to Macy's and Sephora. And maybe TJ Maxx and Marshalls on the way out. Did you get a Macy's built at all? I don't know. I'll have to check on that because I don't ever see getting anyone. So Ooh. I know you spent some money. I did Christmas spend time. some money in Macy's. I did. Yeah. We'll have to check that out. So, anyways, the reason we're going to the Apple Store is twofold. Number one, Jay is in desperate need of a new computer. Yeah, so I get the hand me down. <laughs> so he's getting the hand me down, but. When we say the hand-me-down, he's getting my big 15-inch, one terabyte, top of the line with everything you can imagine, MacBook Pro, 15-inch, that's one year old. And I love it. It's awesome for videos. It's awesome for everything. It's fast. It's really cool. But the only thing I don't like is I was used to a smaller 13-inch. My old MacBook Pro was a 13-inch, which I gave to my mom and dad, and they're loving. Yeah, but yours was also... At that time, it was a good eight years old. It was when I gave it to my mom and dad. Yeah, so it was eight, to eight years old when I gave it to my mom and dad. So they, they're they still going strong for their needs, obviously, because they just surf the Facebook. The Facebook. <laughs> my mom always calls it the Facebook. I think she thinks the Facebook is the Internet. But anyway, so we made the decision that I would be happier with a 13-inch and Jay has always had a 15 inch and he would really love to have my big boy. <laughs> <laughs> so he's in, he says a hand me down, but he made the decision that he would be perfectly content. I think because he really kind of talked me into the 15 inch to begin with. Yeah, I think for your, the way you do all the videos, I think it's just more powerful machine. It is, so I can still do videos on your new to be you machine. Yeah. So that's that's the scoop. We're going to the mall, and his iPhone 7 died. died. I mean, literally died. All of a sudden, it got like super hot. It wasn't charging. So it could be that the battery's totally fried, and I know they know they have battery issues right now. So we're going to walk into the Apple store and say, hey, we're here to buy a MacBook Pro, and we have an iPhone issue. Will you help us? We'll see. We'll see what they do. So that's that's the in, that's the scoop. That's what we're doing. Yep. It's dark in the mall because we're. Well, we're in the underground parking. We're in the underground parking. Well, not underground. But under deck. Under deck. Do you want to go parking? Want to go parking? He doesn't want to go parking. You couldn't handle me. So I got him to park over on this side. Take a look. I don't know if you can see that, but we're at the Macy's entrance. And it's slippery. It's a slippery baby. So hey guys, it's Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday and I'm in my grubbies and um, it, it's been quite a day. You know, we've, we're in a deep freeze here in New England and in New Hampshire and particularly there is a lot of issues with it. Sub-zero degree temperature and you know, even though we're used to the cold, this bitter, bitter deep freeze is a bit hard to take and a lot of people are having frozen pipes and having issues with that. We've been knock on wood lucky but the drain pipe in my bathroom from my tub has frozen solid and that means no water is going out. I'm hoping for a little bit of warmer temperature tomorrow so that it can loosen up the ice in that drain pipe and the water flow out again. I'm really worried about it. I'm hoping nothing nothing um, 
nothing bad happens with it. But um, yesterday, Saturday, Jay and I went to the mall. So we walked in there and we had, to, we had to wait. It was like an hour and a half wait before we could even get to be seen after we registered. So we went and had dinner and I went shopping. And uh, upstairs in the mall, they have the, the Swarovski, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, store. Well, in the store, they had 50% off. And I scoffed a couple of bracelets. They didn't have a bunch of earrings or anything of that nature, but I got this bracelet. I really, I really love it. I also got another bracelet. I got two. <laughs> Some people buy makeup. Monica buys glitter. Doesn't have to be expensive glitter, but it has to be pretty glitter. And I love these bracelets. They go with just about anything. And I know this is probably not picking up, but it, they're really, really pretty. And they were 50% off. So that's what I did. I went into Sephora. I didn't buy anything in Sephora. I walked around. I checked out a lot of things, but I didn't buy anything. We went back to the Apple store and they replaced Jay's phone just like that. And we actually bought my brand new MacBook Pro, trying to transfer the data from my old MacBook to the new MacBook. And it's been like, ugh, it's been a dilemma. Next time, I think I'm just going to let the guys in the Mac store do it. They're pros at it. Why not? But I'm super excited. I have a new laptop. I'm hoping that I will, by the end of tonight, it's getting late, we'll have it um, fully functioning so I can take it to work with me tomorrow. That's my plan anyways. So yeah, it's been a crazy, a crazy week. New gems and a new MacBook <laughs> and frozen pipe. Oh, frozen pipe. Keep your fingers crossed. So I think I'm gonna put on one of my new bracelets. I think I'm gonna wear the, the blue one with my blue top to work today. See, how pretty? I know this is probably not picking it up. But yeah, that's what I'm wearing along with clothes today to work. So it was a pretty easy ride into the office today. I think it's because we're having a heat wave. It's 32 degrees out. Oh my gosh, but look at the snow. And that's my back side of the office, the back entrance, or the side entrance. Ooh, yeah, so I did a little bit of um, TJ Maxx scoffing, stocking up on face masks, and tried that. And this was a super, super scoff. These, I got three of them. They were $7.99 a piece. Yeah, super scoff. And then I got, I couldn't find my, oops, my bee venom cream. I couldn't find my bee venom cream. But I did find this, so I'm not really too sure how this is going to work compared to my tried and true, which thankfully... I have a backup of another cold morning. Ah, so many more days till spring. I, don't, I have no idea, but I'm sure hoping. I'm sure hoping it arrives pretty quick. I can't stand it. So hey guys, I'm heading out for work. I have been playing around with the lippies that I got from the Octoly website. I had requested to check out these um, lippy products from Live Glam. And what they do is they send you some lip glosses and whatnot. And I had gotten some in. I got my order in. I got three of them. And this morning I put on, they're sort of metallic-y. And they, they're supposed to be kiss-proof. Um, they're called Kiss, kiss Me. And I think that's so <laughs> darn cute. Now they're metallic. So metallic on my aging lips um, might not be the best option, obviously. But they're, they're absolutely adorable. So I put this on a little over an hour ago and I've been drinking coffee and, you know, I, although I should probably kiss Jay and really tell, but it hasn't gone on to my coffee cup. It hasn't smudged at all. And compared to my Colourpops, which also stay on, this is less drying on my lips. So I'm really liking it a lot. I like the color payout and I, and I like the fact that I could drink my coffee cup and I didn't get all my lipstick all over it, which is amazing. The the other thing, I finally cracked open my Naked uh, Smoky, Urban Decay Smoky palette. I got this quite a while ago when it was on sale at Ulta. I don't know if they were discontinuing it or whatever, but I, I finally got it and I, I cracked it open. And I, you know, it took me a long time to do it because I was really in fear of the colors. They're just dark. 
And so I cracked it open and I, the last two days I've been putting it on my eyes and I've been playing around with it and all that stuff. And then I went to work. I thought it would look good in the morning when it left. It was darker because it comes on very, for me, very, very wicked bold, wicked bold. But, um, so, when, so I thought it looked all right. It would like tone it down. Then I get in the office, right? And I look under the fluorescent light and I'm like, holy crap, holy, did I look I did I look awful so I started to futz with it I couldn't so then I washed it off so that happened to me the last two days so today this morning I don't know dawn lights up a marblehead or something I I ran into this little palette here this little baby that I have a little door palette I actually got this from Sheila from Life with Lily and she's a sweetheart if you don't know her I'm you know, definitely we got to connect with her. I'll link her channel. She sent this to me because she knew that I was on the waiting list for the Viseart Amethyst palette. And it was late and late and I just, you know, wasn't going to get it. And she said, this is very similar shades. So this is absolutely adorable. It's just an adorable little palette. Now, when I first looked at it, I said, oh my gosh, it's so tiny, tiny, which it is. I finally put it on my eyes. So I'm like, after the last two days of having this unbelievable bold smoky eyes for a day look at work, which was like, I must have been off my rocker. This is, this to me is very subtle. I think it's buildable. Where the other, the Urban Decay, when I put it on, oh my gosh, it was like right there. I I was like trying to remove it, not build on it. So um, I'm definitely more of a subtle a subtle chick when it comes to shadow. So I, I don't know. Uh, this is going to be my day look. I mean, I, I could probably go a little darker, a little bolder, but I really like this. I do. And I'm, I'm going to check out and see on these lippies, on these Kiss Me lippies, what other shades they might have because I'm wondering what they have that isn't metallic. I'm liking these. Now if I can get rid of the wrinkles. <laughs> I have absolutely no lipstick on. I'm gonna try all three of these shades that I got. I think the packaging is absolutely adorable. This is the Live Glam Kiss Me Lippies. Now, I got these free of charge from Live Glam in exchange for my honest opinion. I got this off of the Octoly website. I've worn it in a few of my clips earlier that you saw. I mentioned that there was a metallic and I thought the metallic might be too metallic-y, but I actually liked it. I did have to tone it down. There are two mattes. The colors are just really pretty. The darker shade, the matte, is too matte for me. I have to really lighten it up. So I'm going to show you exactly how it looks on me. But before I tell you that, this is a subscription. And if you're interested in you know, signing up for a liquid lipstick, Lippies, monthly subscription, it's under $20 in the United States, a free shipping, and then there's a, a flat shipping worldwide. But if you do it before a certain date, I think it's the 23rd, and I'll make sure I put it in the description box before you actually get four, but normally you get three. And these particular colors will be sold out um, after I think the 23rd. Again, I'll put that information in the description box and then you'll get February's colors, which I have no idea what they would be, but they arrived in a little black package and I know this is gonna look, I put it on the back of my mirror. It's not my attempt to do a, you know, a super advertising for them, but I thought it would actually block off the glare of the back of my mirror and be kind of cute. So anyways, it came in this really adorable little pouch, a little silk type of a pouch. But I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these on. But first I'm going to apply my lip liner. And I'm just using my Avon lip liner. This is the Glimmer Stick Perfect Plum. When you have thin lips, you need to line your lips. <laughs> you just do. Not only do I have thin lips, I have a very crooked smile. And so nothing I do will help my smile be equal. So the first one I'm going to put on is this Skulls. You see me without. I would never ever feel comfortable going out with this shade on because it's just for me too red. So I'm going to top it with a little bit of a, a gloss. It's not really taking the color down much at all. I did wear uh, this a little bit around the house and um, 
once it settled on and 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 all of that it it definitely passed a um, didn't uh, leave any kind of a lip line or lip ring around my uh, coffee cup or anything all right now I'm gonna go to the next darker one the color midnight I forgot to put my lip liner on. So let me tell you how it feels. Compared to other long lasting liquid lipsticks that I have used, which often make your lips feel very dry and you always have to do a topping on it, I thought this, it feels very good. Now when I would, again, I would top this because I don't like a matte look on me and this is very matte. This I would wear. But I'm topping it, I forgot to do my lip liner. I'm topping it with my hot candy. And this is a really light, nice light shade of pink. And between the midnight and this color, it to me gives me a mauve look. A light mauve look, is that the right way to say it? I do like that, I do like that look. I like that look a lot. Alone, no. But everyone has different lips, everyone has different styles. I'm gonna try the last one. This time I'm gonna stick my liner back on, which I forgot to do on the second one. Sequence, this is metallic, and this one is very metallic. It's a pretty, I think an evening look, and for me, almost a look that I could, if I, I would put it on top of a lip color, but I'm gonna do it alone. Maybe for a younger chick, I don't know. So I am going to take my 445 on the mauve. I don't know if it's really dried yet or not. Nothing. So now I'm sure I'm going to get the fallout when I put this on top. But for me, I have to take down the metallic. Now the metallic still shows through, I think, but it it doesn't show through as much, and it, it's just not quite as as bright. You want to do my little gloss on it? I like it much better. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you, so you can see. Let's go. This is midnight, and again, the midnight looks really, really funky. But I liked it when I topped it off with my gloss. It was really pretty. So that, those are those liquid lipstick, if you're into lip, liquid lipstick, I think this is pretty pretty good. I have no idea what February's package is gonna look like, what kind of colors. Uh, I'm thinking February, you know, maybe they might have some purples or whatever. I am more of a mauve, more of a, um, a pink, a mauve for my lips, a nude person on my lips. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what the other color choices are. The other thing I just wanted to mention, I ran out of my Care Prost and I talked about the fact that once I was done with my Care Prost, I was going to try Lash Tonic. So I ran out of my Care Prost, it's in my empties, and I started Lash Tonic. So I'm really hoping that it works well with my eyelashes, but I don't know yet. I will let you know after I've used it for a while what my feelings are. But that's the scoop on that. So hey, if you've been with me this whole time, thanks so much. And here's one of my new bracelets that I'm wearing. I love them. I love them. Bye, guys.